what's good everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back I hope that you're having a wonderful day today and I hope that you're ready because you're definitely going to go on a ride in this video. So if you're interested in seeing what I was up to this week, then just keep watching. I wanted to take you along for a realistic day and doing something while being pregnant. I remembered that this was part of the video from last week that dis two weeks ago that disappeared. So I'll be showing you all the little things um, that you have to do with the hands-on maternity hood. So that's going to be fun. But the first thing that we're going to get into is redoing the My Story Farm. So, um, as promised, I definitely wanted to get everything set back up. I didn't know where I was going at first with this decor, but it seemed to fall into place and come together in the end. So, I for sure wanted to have a section with the animals. And then I thought about the fact that I don't have water here, so I had to be realistic, of course, with the animals. And I put out all my animals that were, you know, made for dry land. I put out all my barns, all my uh, chicken coops and everything that does... Um... <sighs> everything that functions in the farm I put it in this little shed and this little shed is adorable I wanted to make it bigger but prims you know if I do have to um, because I need to go to a sandbox or something so that I can unpack what was returned to me and make sure basically Make sure there's no more barns or anything like that in there because I can't remember if there, <laughs> there was or not. That's terrible, but I thought I picked everything up for sure, but I just have to double check. So I probably will still be adding things to the farm as we go. I'm also not ready to um, start farming again yet because I have so much stuff, y'all, as you can see. There's so many items that I was collecting for my grocery store that I'm probably not going to have to farm or anything like that for quite a while. Now, while I'm in the middle of decorating the farm um, my stomach starts to feel funny like I have to poop but I really don't feel like I can poop and it looks like on my head I'm constipated so we're gonna go inside real quick so that I can make some soup some lentil soup really quick that always does the trick it always makes me have to go straight to the toilet so while I'm making this soup um, I wouldn't say that this is actually something that I'm craving, but I do want to show you some of the things that I have been like literally craving so bad that I can't stop eating. So the first thing is these um, snacks from Mamadou. Why are these the perfect pregnancy snacks? Like. Who can live without the ice cream? You always have to have something sweet after you eat, of course. And then the salty, like it's it's a salty sweet thing. So you want something salty and you want something sweet. So the hot Cheetos haven't been able to, to stop eating them. Even though they give me heartburn because why? Am I probably going to have the hairiest baby on the planet? Anyways, 
definitely grab these snacks um, because you're absolutely going to need them. And I'll leave the link to them in the description box below. Now, kind of out of nowhere, but not out of nowhere, I get on a plane and take a trip to New York. So don't panic. I know that everything looks a little bit swollen, but I'm totally fine. It's just from being on the plane. So I land at LaGuardia, LaGuardia, LaGuardia. How do you say that? I'm not a New Yorker, so I don't have the, the accent. But anyway, I land at the airport um, and I'll explain probably in maybe a separate video. I, I can't decide. But anyway, I'm here in New York for maybe a small trip, maybe longer. I brought my sister with me. She is here with me as well. And for now, we're gonna just stay a couple weeks and see. We're just having fun. It's fall, fashion week is over, so the traffic has definitely improved. And like I said, I'll, I'll tell you guys possibly the reason for coming to New York. Um, another reason, separate from that first reason, is that Wandering New York is having a photo contest until October 9th. So I definitely wanted to participate in that. I'm excited to do that. And it should be really fun. Um, and if you caught the live earlier this week on Twitch and on YouTube, um, you saw me decorating or starting to decorate this apartment here in New York. So thanks to everybody that was on that live early in the morning. I had so much fun and it made me feel so happy to interact with some of you guys that are from different countries and don't necessarily uh, always catch the live when I go during the day here in America. So that really made my heart so full and now I'm gonna have to do it all the time, of course. Um, so that you guys can catch a live as well. Um, it was w definitely worth waking up super early just to talk to you guys. I had a blast on that live. Um, it is still up on the live replay, so I'll also leave that. I'll probably put it in the cards here if you want to go click on it and go watch it. But yeah, we had so much fun decorating, and thanks so much for your advice because it's really coming together. Um, but yeah. I, I loved, loved, loved doing that with y'all, just so you know. And it will definitely be happening again soon. So now that I got all this stuff, because it wasn't working before, I can finally finish up the kitchen. And um, I the whole point of finishing the kitchen was so that I could 
film a cook with me and I got to the end of finishing the kitchen and I was literally exhausted. My swelling is starting to go down though, thank goodness, but I still feel like I look weird. Anyway, so since the swelling was starting to go down, I decided, okay, I'm gonna do the cook with me portion just to round out the video because we've done a lot here, like it's a lot going on. <laughs> So, I need to run down to the store. There's actually a little bodega right on the corner here. So, we're going to run down to the store really quickly and just grab a couple of things that I need to make dinner. So, <laughs> this made me giggle too. My street is probably like the most picturesque because every time I walk out the house, there's literally someone outside taking a picture, which is very much cute. And on the way down here, um, I actually didn't even know this when I was coming um, on the live. I totally walked right past the fact that there's like the cutest little park, I guess because I was focused on the store, but there's the cutest little park on the corner. They have ice cream and uh, I don't know what this other stuff is. Is it popcorn? Anyway, they're selling th those things in the little carts and the little play they have a little playground it's adorable this was the moment where i was like okay i wasn't planning on staying here in new york but these houses are hard to come by first of all and second of all how cute is it like everything that i need is like right here so anyways so we're hopping in here to just grab a couple things for dinner. I noticed that it was my story and they do have f literally full meals that you can purchase. So if I didn't feel like cooking, I could just come down here and grab some food, which is amazing. Um, they have ev literally everything that you need. Like if you're out of something, if you need a little bread, if you need some fertilizer because you have your little farm going or whatever, you can actually um, come down here and grab what you need, which is top tier very cute i need to check out who's renting because if they need some produce i didn't see any produce in here but i have so much from um the store i'd be happy to stick it in here however they want to price it it don't even matter to me but yeah i'll be checking on that as well so now that we've grabbed our groceries let's head back to the house so that we can start cooking I couldn't resist. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post <laughs> a little piece of this from what I was editing. It was low quality, but it still made me giggle because that's just how I felt when I was coming out of the store. <laughs> Anywho, let's get to cooking. So I had purchased this um, cooking board from Trade Inte a while back. And I hadn't opened it yet because it's been a while since I did a cook with me and I wanted to have everything laced and set up, you know, and I wanted to try it. But this blew me away. I was not prepared. I was not ready for how good this cook, this cookware is. I wasn't prepared. Um, so first things first, we're going to make a steak. And it's funny because my last cook with me TikTok that I just posted as a throwback basically this week, I'm reposting on TikTok. I made steak too, but this was absolutely worth the remake. And you're going to see why here in just a second. I was literally gagged this whole time. Are you kidding me? It chops up the vegetable. It chops up the vegetable y'all okay can we just really talk about how there's so many creators that can create things and there's room for literally everybody if you have an idea you can bring it to fruition that's what SL is all about that's what it was created for was um, citizen created content right but you can really tell that Trey puts his all 
into the quality of his products. We're not even going to get on the other stuff that I have that's literally perfection. But if you are role playing, you have to invest in this type of quality product. If you're going to be making videos, you got to invest in this type of quality product because you're not going to see it. this is the first time in 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, six years of my channel. And I've been cooking for the whole six years that I've had a cutting board to cut my fruits, vegetables, meat, whatever, and it actually cuts it and it looks cut. Like this, it blew my mind, literally blew my mind. So don't walk, run and grab this cutting board. The seasonings as well, the seasonings were just on sale um, for the weekend sales and I almost shit a brick, not even joking, that you just res a box, click it, and there's a plug-in to season the meat on the cooking board. Are you shitting me? Are you shit? I was, I was blown away. Anyways, needless to say, I went ahead and like bought everything, literally everything that I could do. Everywhere I turned, if I didn't have it, I grabbed it. So, um, yeah that's what I'm going to be cooking with from here on out. Um, and you need it too. Don't leave it at the store. You definitely need it to join the group so you can stock the weekend sales if you haven't already and get everything that you need for your role play. But anyway, this is not a full trade and take commercial. I know that we go through this every time I find a good product. <laughs> But I felt it was that important that you needed to know and you needed to see it and you needed to go grab it. Also be on the lookout for this Cook With Me TikTok from, um, yeah, this Cook With Me on TikTok. Fingers crossed, I'll probably get it up sometime in the next week or so. I hope, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm going for. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know you've been along for... A really long ride and yeah so no baby content this week because I'm dedicating for the most part um, this nursery situation uh, that's what it's it's gonna be that's the baby content that you're gonna the next baby content that you're gonna get so be on the lookout for that as well and yeah thanks again for watching thanks for hanging out with me if you've stuck around this long because this vlog was really long and I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye.